Welcome to pre-math. In this video lesson, we have got this right triangle ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that this M is a midpoint on this uh, line segment AB, and moreover, this line segment NC is seven units, and this line segment BC is 24 units. And now we are going to calculate the distance between this M and N. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Before we proceed, let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on these two side lengths. This one is seven and this is 24. And this angle is 90 degrees. And if we connect these two points, N and B, we can get a right triangle. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. Now let's focus on this triangle BCN and we want to calculate this side length BN. And we know that this triangle is a right triangle. Therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let's go ahead and apply this theorem on this right triangle. So that is going to give us 7 square plus 24 square equals to n b square. Let's go ahead and simplify this thing that is going to give us 49 plus 24 square is 576 equal to n b square. Let's add this thing that is going to give us 625 equal to n b square. Let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides. So n b is going to be simply 20. Five. And just keep in your mind that this value must be positive since this represents the side length. So our this side length NB turns out to be 25 units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these two triangles AMN and BMN. We can see that uh, this side length is congruent to this side length and this uh, side length is in common and this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees as well. So therefore we conclude that these two triangles are indeed congruent according to side angle side property. Now since these two triangles are congruent so this side length has got to be equal to this side length. If this side length is 25, this side length AN has got to be 25 as well. And here our next step. Let's focus on this side length AC. The total distance of this AC is going to be sum of these two individual lengths 25 plus 7. If we add them, we are going to get 32. So therefore, our side length AC turns out to be 32 units. Now let's focus on this big triangle ABC. And we know that this is a right triangle. So therefore, we will be using a Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. A square plus B square equal to C square. We know our two side lengths, 24 and 32 is known. And now we want to find out the value of this side length AB. Let's go ahead and apply this formula. So this is going to be simply 24 square plus 32 square equals to this AB square. Let's go ahead and take care of that thing. So that is going to give us 576 plus 1024 equals to AB square. Let's add these numbers. 
So a b square turns out to be simply 1600. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides. This square and square root is gone. So our a b length turns out to be 40. And make sure that this a b length must be a positive value because this represents the length. So thus our a b length turns out to be 40 units as you can see. And here's our next step. We know that this side length a m equal to this side length m b. The total length a b is 40. So if we divide both one into half, this side length is going to be 20 and this side length is going to be 20 as well. So therefore, we conclude that this side length AM is 20 units. And now let's focus on this triangle AMN and we know that this is a right triangle. Therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem once again. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And this time we are going to calculate this side length m n. So let's go ahead and apply the formula. So this is going to be 20 square plus uh, m n square equals to 25 square. Now let's go ahead and simplify 20 square equals to 400 plus uh, m n square equal to 625. Let's go ahead and subtract 400 from both side. This is gone. So our m n square turns out to be 225. Let's go ahead and take the square root on both side, square root on this side and square root on this side, this and this they undo each other. So our m n length turns out to be 15 units and once again this mn is going to be a positive value since this represents the length. So thus we have calculated our mn value and it turns out to be 15 units. So thus after all the multiple steps and calculations our distance mn turns out to be 15 units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.